So this is the first screen you will see after logging to the transaction generator. You can see here some um, summary of the availability, uh, which is calculated from the test cases. Uh, the individual list of test cases is here. So uh, as you can see, we are testing some uh, our web pages. We can see the availability uh, average daily average availability or the weekly availability and monthly availability, and also the duration of the tests. Uh, if there is some failure, uh, if the test fails, we will see it. Uh, we will see it here in the list of failures. And if we click, for example, on this test suite, I will get into the detail. I will select this some um, interval, and uh, this uh, analysis page provide me with some more uh, information about the availability in time, or for example, average duration in time. I can also see individual tests, and filter the tests, uh, and if I click on uh, in, on the test instance, I will get uh, some more information. As you can see, this is just a simple test. Uh, when I will go to the configuration, I will show you some different different tests. Okay, so this is the analysis window. For each test suite, you can get to the analysis and check the availability and the average duration. And also, you can see the tests which failed. Uh, then there is a SLA report. Uh, it uh, shows you uh, the SLA for for all your test cases by days, by weeks, months. So there is really nothing to it. Uh, I can uh, collapse this uh, test test uh, suite to see individual test scenarios and uh, see the SLA for the individual scenarios. Another uh, thing is uh, reports. This is something you are used to from uh, our other modules. So the report contains of chapters, which are defi defined uh, here. Then you create the report. You define what chapters will be included. Uh, you define what test suite uh, will be uh, selected for this report, you can add some description. You can also send uh, the report. Uh, you can schedule when the report will be sent. Uh, so uh, you can schedule these email, email reports. And this is how the report looks like. So basically what I showed you previously, some SLA reports, uh, charts of the availability and uh, the duration in time. Then there are also alerts, uh, something you also know, know, know from our other modules, uh, which, can, which are defined in the setting notification. Here you can see uh, whether the alert uh, occurred or the event defined occurred, so we can see uh, whether some uh, test failed and when it happened, if I click on the uh, on this chart, I will get to the analysis and get more information. Speaking of alerts, uh, in setting notifications, you can define your own alert. So, for example, here is an alert uh, which alerts me when the test fails. I can also uh, select different condition, for example, some threshold is breached, like the duration or some availability per, per day, per week, and etc. And based on this condition, I can trigger some action. Uh, I can choose several actions like send email, uh, system log, run a script, or send SNMP. SNMP uh, message. 